Hello friends, it is Fordasher. Welcome back to another gameplay of The Quarry. Let's go ahead and see what happens in this next chapter. Ugh, oh, what a cheerful song. This is going to be the best summer ever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Wait, I'm confused. These are the counselors. They were saying goodbye. <clears throat> okay, so I guess these are the counselors. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm putting this together. I'm confused. So these are the counselors. Was this the last day of summer camp? And they're telling all the kids so goodbye. Um, uh, uh, so. Must be cynical. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like mm -hmm. they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my... <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey! <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. This is cool. Ooh. So dizzy. <clears throat> Alright, what am I doing? What's this? Oh. Oh, oh, my. Fuck you, you spider fuck! No, don't squash it. That spider's doing its part to keep the ecosystem in balance. It better not come back to kill us later. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty. These camera angles are so quick. Don't know how I feel about that. What's I this? What's killing the deer? Uh, no hunters. Deer hunting canceled this year due to increased deer mortality. Oh, great! So, oh boy. Okay. I feel like we're going to find out what's killing the deer. Well, any secrets down here? It's a red bucket. What's this? <clears throat> what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. So he's about to break up with Emma, I guess. Oh, this is where we were! Um, shoot, I wasn't paying attention to that time. Is this afterwards? According to reports from the local paper, the North killed 
<clears throat> hey, what are you uh what are you listening to? Good to know. Man. Can we try that again? Oh, we can. Hello? That's fucking rad. Uh, oh. Whatever, man. Uh, Turn so sharp. Alright, before I talk to you, I want to go up the stairs. This is so calm and peaceful. I like it. That's good atmosphere. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, closing. please. <laughs> Cool, thanks guys. Man. Too bad that door's broken. Oh, what's this? Okay. It's a sign. Oh, skill <sighs> Pro Gamer. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, double skill. Okay, I didn't mean to leave. Is he gonna say triple skill? No, okay. This guy. What's this? Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Wonder why. Wow, I can explore so much! I didn't think I'd get this much. Something on the ground I can pick up? No. Is this an item of interest? No, it is not. What is that, spaghetti? This looks interesting, though. This place needs a serious overhaul. Does it, though? Looks kind of cool. Oh! Oh, never mind. You're right. Jesus. Who's this? Oh, it's that guy. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? It was pretty funny, the though. Rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Oh, this place is dark. Wait, where am I? 
it was literally just a dead end. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, I guess we're not getting anything else out of that. It's gonna take me forever to get back. All right, got the bags. His size are a little dramatic. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Uh, only defensive and playful? Let's be playful. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Uh, let's be mischievous. Oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay, her whole thing. Is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, <laughs> Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Let's be defeated. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Uh, <laughs> why is his face like that? <laughs> uh, do I encouraging or confident? Let's be encouraging. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, 
Uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> uh... What? Why do I have to make... What? What? These are both terrible options. Okay, uh, I feel like if we break the fuel line, that'll be much harder to fix later, as opposed to stealing the rotor arm. So let's steal that, because that can be, like, brought back. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 long. Oh, dick. Oh. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. Surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Um... Do I be friendly or annoyed? Let's be friendly. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup, okay, 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 let's all put out a little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? How'd she know they're why, little? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. So you're an artist, huh? I don't got nothing to say. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. I was not expecting to have to do something. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Yeah, let's break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's going to find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about That's the all power it took? of positive thinking. 
Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. <sighs> Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right. What this? Why would this place be in the news? Freak show goes up in flames. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Maybe there's something more to these springs. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, what's Aww. this? This was little Izzy's. I'm sure you're not going to make noise when we need to be quiet. All right. Which way am I supposed to go? Do I need to look through all these cabins? Is there anything here? No. Okay, good. This is a lot of map to explore. Okay, good. Oh, that's cool. And creepy. It's about it when we see him. <sighs> All right, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I can run a little bit. Okay. That's good. So if I do shift, I move. I walk with a purpose. Okay, swimming pool. Uh, okay. Not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Coming! Huh. Huh. So slow! Ready to roll? Yeah, let's go! Let's do it! Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Yeah, that Confident. was pretty annoying. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, 
in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Did she say jinkies? Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Let's, let's just go back to the lodge. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Okay, Nick whatever. isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh. Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Okay. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Um. <sighs> yeah, let's nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. How cute. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? How's that protective? Mind your own business. Let's be friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. 
Oh my god, you are so childish. It looks uh, look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th- this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Yeah. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Let's be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know... I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some Uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Okay, I'm annoyed. Why not? Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need Dick. some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Yeah. Let me to the van, okay? Wait a minute, don't they have car chargers? Just charge it in the car. So, uh, Chris, I- I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w- with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Let's eavesdrop. What? I'm curious. Because kids are kids. It'd only be so much, your boat. They're almost out of here, alright? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, alright? Everything's A OK on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Get away from the door. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you. Stop were. talking. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that.
You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. I must be concerned. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Yeah. I don't understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys <laughs> don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. That Teenagers, picture looked like Ryan right? Reynolds. Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked at the van... Put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Wait, so were those two counselors who disappeared? If they were, why do they have a picture with him like that? Were they his kids? I don't get it. I'm... Dumb. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough! 
Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Programmer. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, man, I promise. I know I'm in a hole. Yeah. Thing. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could Accurate. go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No. No, insistent. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. No. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, no. Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Oh, idiot. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying mm. to freak us out. Mm. You know, like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> yeah, supportive. I'm no. sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. Actually, I should have gotten apprehensive. All right, yeah. No, I should right. really I think more about these. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. No. I'm sorry. He made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. No, no, dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. Okay, hold up. Let's get defensive. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told Boo! me. Boo! What a bunch of dicks. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. 
party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. No. And uh, Dylan, I'm not you falling just, for this I don't music. Know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. No. Idiots, all of them. Is that a sniper rifle? season. Ah, uh, great. Okay. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Oh boy, here comes the super close camera. Let's see what you've found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Oh. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. My bad. Find them, please. Okay. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I missed it. Well, okay. That was interesting. I... Okay, so now we're on to the next one. Ugh. It seems no matter what, we're gonna have this party. I don't know. Fools, a lot of them. Um yeah, but uh that was that was interesting. I'm curious to see what happens. I heard there's like 12 chapters. So, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more development as we get on. Um but thank you so much for uh joining me for this chapter. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next gameplay. See you later. Bye.